Yes, it's Chris from Hexomatic. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use our scraping recipe builder to capture data from a directory. So I love directories. They're a really great source of B2B leads. You can find them for pretty much any industry and any geography. So in this case, what we're going to do as an example, we're going to go to this uh, photographer's directory. So Imagine you are in, um, in the business of um, wedding photography and uh, you need to get in touch with uh, photographers for, for your business. Or say you're in a different industry and you, you need to find um, any type of uh, professional uh, that you can either sell a service to or use to hire for your business. So in this case, we're going to go to this directory and you can see um, it's got loads of uh, photography uh, businesses and photographers. If we were to try and capture this data manually, it would probably take us hours of manual copy pasting. With Hexamatic, we can capture all this in minutes. Let me show you how. So first, I'm going to capture this URL. And what we're going to do is we're going to create first a scraping recipe. So here, I'm just going to create a new scraping recipe, put in the URL. Here you have two different browsers. Fast mode is our uh, fast and stealth type browser. Um, we also have a full stack version, which um, is useful if uh, you see images not loading or assets not loading. Here, we're just going to click preview. And here is the page load. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the name of the photography business and we're going to click select all. Now, the cool thing about Hexamatic is that it's got automatic uh, selectors. So here it's going to select all the titles of all the listings automatically. We're going to call that uh, business name and this is uh, text. So another cool feature is that Hexamatic can uh, pinpoint uh, specific types of um, data. So if you're looking to capture the text part of a link, then choose text. Uh, if you want to capture a URL, then you would select the URL uh, option. So here we're going to capture the uh, domain name of the photography business. So we're going to look at uh, text, perfect. Uh, right, so here we have um, the text, we have the URL. Um, the next thing we want to do is look at uh, pagination. So here we have a long list of entries. And if we go to the bottom, we notice uh, there are two pages. So to paginate, simply uh, click on uh, this and we have two options. It can, we can either um, automatically try and detect the pagination or there's also an advanced mode in case it doesn't pick it up. So here we can choose uh, automatic and there are two pages. Now we're going to click, uh, before we click save, let's name this get, get photographers and we're going to click save. Right, so we have our scraping recipe. Next, to run it, we need to create a workflow. So we go to workflows, create a new workflow. Here we're going to find our new scraping recipe. So, uh, get photographers. Um, so the cool thing about Hexamatic is that you can uh, run scraping recipes and automations inside a workflow. So in this case, we're getting all the listings for these photographers, but what if we wanted to get some additional data? So in this case, we are gonna, for example, look at um, their tech stack. We can uh, use the uh, domain name, get the word count uh, using the um, uh, word count automation. Uh, for example, we wanted to know the meta tags. We can uh, 
use this as well, save the main name, choose uh, title, meta descriptions. We have a lot of different automations that you can uh, tap into, uh, including uh, screenshot capture, uh, traffic insights, uh, different uh, measurement uh, converters. So here we're just going to use this. Let's see, we're going to name this workflow. Getting photographers. And we're going to click continue. So here we're going to click run. And this is going to run. So depending on how many um, URLs or automations that you're using, it could take a few minutes to maybe 40 minutes an hour. Um, let's have a look at an example we did earlier. So here I've got one I made earlier, just to show you. Uh, I'm just going to open the CSV. So Hexamatic can save data in a CSV or sync to uh, Google Sheets. So here we have, for example, uh, all, the, all the different uh, businesses. So this is the, the, the name, uh, the URL, um, all in structured data format.